stone scoundrel, ever seeking Lady Vivian, Sam Hogan Million. Strange. I was sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. Is she a Bruxa? Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere.
off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I wanted them here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Why should I guess when you could tell me yourself? If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. 
Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone. Unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever described the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation, for I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. There is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. 
I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you? I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of Southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Hatter's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. 
Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one dropped to its knees. Whose virtue is yours, or lance blows unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say, I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Ripley, from the right! Now! I shall never agree, not one step! Let us hit this! You and I! <laughs> Never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such birth, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rivia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Grégoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name. Though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Grégoire de Gorgon, victor of last his tourney. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. They sink the grounds, the titans lock stairs. Ferocious and cry as most hunting cares. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequaled. 
Greg Ward yeah. the Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! And now a few words from our sponsor. Yeah. The Tupo Vineyard. For the yeah. jump bones yeah. and deep drink Tupo. A wine for your yeah. tongue, a wine for your soul. This year's champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! As patron of this grand tourney, I've the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor, and it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's champion of the arena. which you meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. The folk will guard you. The least you should do is away. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. I can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches and run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off, and leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your, your troubles... I, I only wish the, the witchers see... Out now! Mm. 
You assured me I could trust you. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me. What will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. This is the place. 